PLC Podcast 10 Terms in English Used in Civil Engineering Hi guys, how you doing? Olá pessoal, como vocês estão? Hoje aprenderemos 10 termos muito utilizados em engenharia civil em inglês. Os conteúdos da aula obviamente estarão em inglês, porém eu deixarei um link com uma aula que eu prepararei também com a tradução para aqueles alunos que não têm tanta uh, familiaridade com o idioma, de modo que vocês possam estudar e também deixarei várias atividades para que vocês possam estudar. O objetivo deste podcast é fazer com que vocês engenheiros é, aprendam alguns termos, 10 termos muito importantes, simples termos, mas importantes na área de vocês em língua inglesa. Vamos lá? Hydraulics, number one. Hydraulics. Now, part of a machine or system that use the pressure of water or other liquids to move or lift things. Example. In order to design an efficient pipe system, the civil engineer applied his knowledge of hydraulics to move the water smoothly through the building. Okay? Term number two, blueprint. Now, a diagram or a technical drawing. Example, Jane looked at the blueprint to figure out the exact dimensions of the building. Three, sector. Now, a specific area of economic or commercial activity. Categorize it as either public or private. Example, engineers work in either the public or private sector, which means they are involved in projects for public government or private corporate purposes. Okay? Four, discipline. Now, area of specialization. Example, Civil engineering is traditionally broken down into more detailed disciplines focusing on applications within architectural, environmental, structural, and transportation fields. 5. Competency. Now, the ability to do something successfully or efficiently. Example. In an increasingly multicultural world, civil engineers must possess a global competency to collaborate with co-workers from diverse cultures. Ok? 6. Structure. Noun. Something built or constructed like a bridge, building or dam. Example. The Leaning Tower of Pizza is an interesting structure because it manages to have a strong foundational support despite being titled off-center. 7. Maintenance Now, the process of keeping a structure in good condition or in working order by repairing it regularly. Example. With proper maintenance, the pipe system throughout the old building should last for several years. 8. License. Now, a permit from an authority to engage in an act. Example. The zoning department gave the engineering firm a license to build the apartment complex in the neighborhood. 9. Infrastructure. Now, basic physical and organizational structures like buildings and roads needed for society. Example, after the hurricane, the engineering firm helped to rebuild the plumbing and road infrastructure around the devastated community. 10. Model. Now, a three-dimensional representation of a proposed structure. Example, she showed the investors her model, a scaled-down version of the redesigned corporate headquarters. 
okay guys so i hope you have enjoyed this class it's a simple class just like i said if you click on the link here in the description of youtube you will be able to access all of this content with the translation if you have any doubts and a complete class with activities so that you can practice the language the technical english used by engineers ok pessoal então esperamos que vocês tenham curtido a aula os termos como eu disse agora há pouco em inglês vocês podem acessar também o link com a aula completa com a tradução para quem tem algumas dúvidas e também com exercícios de modo que vocês possam praticar melhor os termos técnicos em inglês utilizados na engenharia que são extremamente importantes para que vocês cresçam em suas carreiras profissionais. Ok? Muito obrigado e estaremos em breve na próxima. Bye, bye!